Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan with your forecast for this week and the start of the weekend across New Zealand and Australia and we're tracking severe weather in both nations. We've got quite a lot going on and most of it is forming right in the middle of the map here. So let's get going. Here is the uh, wind map for Monday showing this big windy northerly to northwesterly flow across New Zealand and on the other side you've got this big strong southerly with gales as well. Now that is starting to ease across Tasmania as we go through Monday but that windy weather is then sliding across New Zealand behind this big strong high. Now that high is also the reason we're getting a slightly milder morning, very noticeable in the South Island, not so much the North Island first thing because it was still um, pretty light with the winds this morning but as the day wears on those milder northerlies will start to push on through and then later on the colder southerly from Australia will move into New Zealand especially at the end of this week when temperatures drop. So we've got a bit of rain on the way we were talking about this last week it's still the same area the sort of central western side of the South Island and the rainfall totals there are up to about 150 millimeters or so and maybe even a little bit more in some isolated spots. The North Island not so wet, this is the two day rainfall by the way from 6 o'clock this morning through till 6 o'clock Wednesday morning. Mostly dry around Hawke's Bay and just a few showers in the north here, we're only talking 10 to 15 millimetres for the top of the country and a little bit heavier, 30 or 40 through that zone. But obviously the bulk of the rain pushing in through the central part of the South Island. We've also got windy weather, this is later on today, Monday evening at 6 o'clock. Uh, severe gales through Cook Strait affecting Wellington, severe gales coming over the Southern Alps and Im impacting some parts parts of the Canterbury Plains. Depends on where you are. Christchurch might see a few blustery uh, gusts up there around the gale force mark, otherwise that's really about it. And the calmest area will be Waikato, lightest winds will be in that zone. And temperatures over the next couple of days, don't get too lost in all the numbers and things here. This is just uh, departure from normal, from our maximum temperatures. In other words, how much warmer or cooler is it over the next two days compared to what we would normally record. And what you're seeing is that southerly, noticeable in the southeastern corner of Australia today, less noticeable uh, tomorrow, although you'll be noticing it if you live in Sydney. And in the New Zealand area, warmer than average for most of the country today, especially further down the south where you got those northerlies blowing through. And then on Tuesday, warmer for the North Island and Upper South Island, and the lower half of the South Island returns to normal normal temperatures. So nothing too extreme just yet, but New Zealand's weather does get colder as we go through this week. So here we are on Tuesday, you've still got those mild north to northwest winds across most of the country, rain continues, heavy falls on the west coast, and strong winds north of about Banks Peninsula. The winds aren't as strong further south, and that's where this high pressure zone is starting to stretch through, but it also comes with a colder southerly and that colder southerly is coming in now to New South Wales coastal areas so Sydney for example whereas over in Auckland you've got northerly winds on Tuesday. As we go through to Wednesday a weak area of low pressure remains here. I said last week on social media that um, the middle of this week was looking better for New Zealand. I got it slightly wrong by about 36 hours. So this high is on the way, but it's not here quite uh, on Wednesday unless you live in Southland and Otago. So if you're heading down there for skiing, uh, it's looking pretty good. Might be a few snow flurries and cloud first thing, but as the day goes on, hopefully you'll start to see some uh, breaks in the sky. And it won't be very windy by the looks of it as well on Wednesday and still cooler and showery around Sydney with those easterly winds. Now as we head in towards Thursday, that's when this big high starts to drift closer to New Zealand. So now Southland, Otago, South Canterbury, the sun's coming out, the skies are drying up and the winds, they're not too bad. Maybe a little bit blustery still around some of the coastal areas due to this low. Now in this zone here where it's raining and parts of Canterbury mixed in with that colder southerly, that could form as snow. So Arthur's Pass might have snow in it on Thursday and to the north you've got a, a westerly wind to begin with but that colder southwester arrives later on. Now in Australia your next burst of severe weather is happening around Queensland and the coastal areas, the next burst of rain pushing through for you whereas further down those showers are far more coastal hugging that eastern side of Australia and a low over there in um, Perth as well driving in some warmer rain with a westerly. Now as we end this week on Friday in the New Zealand area that big high I was talking about last week 
is finally moving in. Uh, the forecasts were sort of accurate last week. They knew it was coming. But as usual with long range forecasting, the timing, the timing is usually the biggest thing that we get wrong nowadays as forecasters. So it's, that's a sign that we're getting better, but um, still a bit of work to do to get it into that perfection zone. Whether that happens in my lifetime, I don't know. But certainly we did see the high coming, but it's running just a little bit late. But you will see on Friday the sun out in a number of areas, but still a southerly flow along that eastern side. So showery in Hawke's Bay and Gisborne and Banks Peninsula and maybe into Wellington as well. Over in Australia, the rain event here continues on. Uh, heavy wind along that eastern side, they'll be gusting up to gale force and you'll also be seeing a bit of rain. The rain doesn't look too major at this stage, but worth keeping an eye on because in areas like up here to the north, it might linger sort of heavier for longer than what we're showing. And our final map here is for Saturday. So in comes that big high, uh, still a few showers lingering around Hawke's Bay. That's probably going to be the cloudiest and most showery this week around New Zealand over the next few days anyway. And then to the north, that low pressure zone still sitting there, uh, the rain easing now in Queensland, but sliding those strong winds down towards New South Wales. Probably, um, well, I don't really want to make a forecast on where that's going to go. It is a bit unpredictable because this high is moving away to the east. It will allow that system to drop southwards. And the Southern Ocean out here also looking pretty normal for this time of the year. That is all from me. We'll see you again on Tuesday with our next update. For more details, please go to weatherwatch.co.nz.